Hi Slotever. Hi. I'm Nimrod and Sophie. Hi. <laughs> so we're going to give you the list of euphemisms, like youth as in like for the young kids, youth. Go ahead, Sophie. Um, so the first one is debut cunt, so it's someone who's a debutant and also a cunt at the same time. Uh, like, I think you said like Vanessa Hudgens. Yeah, Ashley Benson. Um, Olivia Palermo. Peaches Geldof and Alexa Chang, huge <laughs> celeb you can't. I mean. Yeah. And now I'm gonna show you does the thing like the finger hashtag. Everybody's like talking in hashtags and they want to like express themselves without saying the word hashtag, so they do like that. I wrote about it in the Wired magazine. And then they say OMFFG or like Ridic Orc Oking Out right now. And then there's a thing, like, if you want to shag, go ahead. So explain, explain the... Yeah, so if you if you want to show some, someone that you want to shag them, then you hashtag them like that. Hashtagging? Or if, like, I'm guessing if someone's done a really good hashtag and they've said it and they've done that, you, yeah. can, you can shag that to show your approval. And you can, like, go, you can go down on someone for a hashtag. Doing, like, hashtag uh, like that. Yeah, like that. Or maybe like that as well. Oh. Yeah. Whichever, whichever is more comfortable. And you can um, give a BJ through a hashtag if you want to like hash your boy. F so you put his thing like imagine yeah. So then yeah, like that, and then you suck. But you suck that. I okay. Yeah. <laughs> What's the next one? And um, the whole selfie movement. Yeah. Now we're onto selfies. So do you take so, selfies? Yeah. Yeah, sometimes, but mine are never humble. Whereas yeah. you take quite a humble selfie because you're always taking selfies with like quite important yeah quite because important I people. I have low self esteem so I take it like that and I feel like so you do yeah you do a sad face so you do like a yeah. Justin Bieber does quite a few of them as well yeah. he's quite good with those in a humble way and then like if you're self employed so you're like self employed because you take selfies of you being self employed mm. I guess and then you have um, some other euphemisms like coming of age if you write a story about how you want to come so it's a coming of age C-U-M-M-I-N-G then you have and then you, when when push comes to come yeah. which is where the pushing actually is the best thing and it gets to the it's just the last bit of the pushing and then someone comes yeah, yeah. And then I have the emojis the Blackberry emojis I use Blackberry because nobody else uses it so it's really fast right now it's open, and then you have something called emotional blackmail, whatever. So what's that? Um, like emotional. Is when is that when you take out someone's like when someone doesn't quite get the emojis that you're using and they don't respond with the right emojis and you make them feel bad about not doing that. And also, if someone like loses a phone, they have to use like another phone that can't pick up emojis. You get angry at them because. Um, yeah. And it's all about yeah. like emotional, emotionally unstable because so, so many emojis seem dead inside. So, I mean, if you're like emotional, emotionally available or emotionally available, whatever. Yeah. So that, now the last one is if you love Ryan Gosling, so it's like you keep you need to tweet, oh my gosh, the what's the, the name of the last film with the place beyond beyond place the, beyond the pines. Yeah. It's got little... So my friend did like an eight second version, a place mm -hmm. beyond beyond the vine, because like the vine thing. Mm. Okay, great. Cool. So see you later. Did, did we explain? Uh, oh my god! Like, oh my god! Vine. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, it's just like so. Basically, if when you're saying "Oh my god" about Ryan Gosling. Oh my gosh! I yeah, love oh Ryan Gosling. Yeah. Oh my gosh! You went on a tangent. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye.